Hi guys and welcome back. I really hope you're all doing okay and really well. So in case it wasn't obvious by the looks of me and by the title, I am doing a makeup tutorial, a Christmas makeup tutorial for you today and I am super excited for this because we are getting to Christmas. We are getting close to Christmas and I absolutely love it. So it's time to get some makeup tutorials out there for you to get glam for the Christmas season. That's why I look like an absolute mess. I have whites around my eyes because I have already primed my lids with concealer and powder. So yeah, I guess by, you know, you clicking on this, you want to see the makeup tutorial I have today. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into it. Okay, so I am the type of person that does my eyes before my foundation, so I will dive straight into my eyeshadow. So I will be using the OPV Eyeshadow Palette Gorgeous Palette. Yeah, okay, that was a lot of names. But um, yeah, so basically I am taking this palette and I am taking this shade right here. So the second one from the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh row, the second one down, if that is making any sense, you guys can see anyway. So don't remember, don't remember, do remember, if you don't have any of these eyeshadows, then you can use what you have at home. If they are like, you know, a similar color, don't worry about, you know, going out and buying the same expensive palettes because I do have some expensive makeup today to use on my face and I do realise that not everyone can afford it. So yeah, without further ado, honeybees, let's get this on the eye and I will talk you through kind of what I do. Anyway, let's, let's, let's go. Okay, so I have loaded up that colour on my brush and I am now about to apply it, apply it, apply it. <laughs> oh my god, my like speaking today is so bad. Anyway guys, so basically I have been watching a lot of makeup tutorials recently like I always do and then um, I have seen a lot of people do small circular motions when blending out their eyeshadow and I tried it the other day when I filmed my other two recent videos and if you guys saw them then this is the makeup tutorial I am doing today because basically I wanted to practice it and yeah, so I am doing doing oh my god can a girl even talk I am doing small circular motions that is okay that is right so yeah I'm going to apply it but I I will show you honey I'll show you all right chickens so I have already started to do my eyeshadow so I will tap it off now watch what I do so basically I kind of tilt my head back and I do small circular motions to blend out my eyeshadow and girl, trust me, this works absolutely amazing. Like, I'm not just saying that, guys. You better trust and believe me when I say this. Like, oh, honestly, technique is good, girl. It is good. I am sorry girl, but is that blended or is that blended? I am so freaking impressed with that. Yes, girl. If you haven't even tried this technique, then get to doing it because that is just like, mm-mm, yes. Yes. Right, so I have caught up with my other eye and um, like I catched it. Yes, girl, I chased after it, whatever. So um, yeah, now I'm going to take the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette and I am taking this shade um, Fetish and then I will go in with um, Dominatrix. But first I am taking the Fetish shade on my brush and don't forget to have a spare clean blending fluffy brush because it's always nice to go over, you know, once you've done the circular, go over and do a bit of like window wiper, you know. So I am taking some of Fetish. Get to know. Oh, hey pigment. Oh, and um, I forgot to mention that I am taking this on the outer part of my eye and kind of like smoking it out and up, like this motion, and then I am taking it through my crease into like this part, but not like right down the nose, girl, like into here, and then I am stopping and buffing up. So I am kind of, you know, doing the full crease and outer corner. Now I'm going back into my, if I can get into it, oh my god, what a mess am I. I'm going back into the orange, just a tiny dab girl, and I'm blending just over where they mix so I have more of a seamless blend, because it's all about blending, honey. 
get you blended in and then everything else will follow. Okay, now I am taking the shade Dominatrix and this look only requires three eyeshadows. Three eyeshadows, which I think is like easy, quick. Imagine this on Christmas Day morning. I mean, I'm going to add a little bit of glitz and glam with some glitter, but um, this is going to be quick and easy. You can like blend, 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 blend and get to going with your cooking or opening your presents or spending time with family, friends, loved ones. You know, whatever you want to do, girl. But um, yeah, three eyeshadows. Are you all right? Okay, so once you have your dominatrix shade down, I would yet again go into the orange, like so, just a tiny bit, and kind of like diffuse any half, half edges. Whoa, girl, my talking is bad today. <laughs> um, diffuse any harsh edges. All right, so the eyeshadow is down, and now I am moving on to the, well, barring my under eyes, but um, now I am moving on to the glitz and glam. So I have these three glitters from eBay, and these are eye glitters. Do not go and buy arts and craft. Well, unless you're doing like, I don't know, a festival, it really depends on what you wanna do and, you know, your own eyes, because glitter can damage your eyes and send you blind in some serious circumstances. Circumstances. So, don't use anything with harsh, like, you know, sharp edges, unless, like, you're putting it in the inner corner, like, I put stars there before, but then um, putting it on top is quite dangerous, so please be careful, but this one is eye safe. Well, as safe as glitter can be. Anyway, so I am taking this kind of orangey, kind of coppery shade, and this one was 99p, girl. And then I am taking this one, which is gold, and then I am taking this baby pink, and these were all 99 cents. And I'm going to mix them up, which I already have done. This is one I made earlier, get the pun. Um, anyway, so yeah, this is what I did last time, I used a little bit too much, but um, yeah. So you mix it up, then you get, I'll show you. And um, you will need this, which is some eye glue or glitter glue for your eyes. And then one of these like cheapo kind of sponge applicators, which a lot of people give a lot of stick on YouTube, but girl, I'm always a ride or die ho for this because I love it so freaking much. It's so good to get like packing on like certain shadows and glitter. So basically what I'm gonna do is, um, bearing in mind I am running out of this so badly, um, I'm going to put some of this where that like light part of my lid is, going like halfway across, kind of like a cut crease, like a half cut crease. So I will pack this down on the lid. Then on my sponge kind of applicator, I will apply the glitter to my lid. And bam, just like that, we have glittery eyeballs, and I love it. Right now, it looks a little bit crazy because I have no lashes, no mascara, no nothing. So let's get some mascara on this grill. So I am taking this, which is the Collection No Clumps Mascara, Definition Mascara, sorry. Um, and I'm going to coat my lashes with this. Okay, so now I am just removing all of the glitter fallout that fell out of the um, glitter on my lid. I am taking the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation and I am taking the L'Oreal Paris 24 Hour Infallible Pro Glow Foundation and I have the Infallible 24 Hour in Sand and I have the Pro Glow in um, Sand Beige. So yeah, yeah, I'm going to mix them up, slap it on the face, get beat, you know. I am so scared of getting foundation on this white turtleneck, so pray for me, make a little prayer because I am so freaking scared. And by the way, this foundation combo is like, oh, 
it, it's good. It is a good combo. The coverage, yes, please. The finish, yes, please. Like, I love it. So, um, if you haven't tried it and you own both of these, then do it, girl, because you're missing out. Now I am taking my Lasting Perfection Concealer by Collection and I will apply that under my eyes, nose, chin, philtrum and forehead and I will highlight and conceal obviously because this is concealer. Okay, now I am going to set under my eyes and like around my face with, well no, I am going to set my face with the Rimmel Clear Complexion um, powder and I am setting my under eyes and like my nose, all the like, you know, important areas with the Technique Soft Focus Translucent Loose Powder, honeys. So yeah, I'm going to set the face get it ready for, you know, the contouring, the highlight. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Now I am taking this, which is the BC Body Collection Bronzing Powder, and I am going to obviously bronze my face, because that's what this is for. And I am taking this, which is by Seventeen, and it's like a nice cheek brush, so I will put a lot on my brush, because I like to be quite bronzed. And I'm going to, and what I like about this is that you can build it, so it isn't intense all at once. But um, I'm going to build up my bronzeness, if that's a word. Okay, so now I am taking the Makeup Geek Contour Pan in the shade Complicated, and this is Cool Medium, and I am going to contour and add some more depth to my face. Look, I have Hit Pan. This is so good. So blendable, taking the same brush. Oh girl, in this top I look so tanned with that bronzer. Anyway, so now I am moving on to highlight and this is a very sad highlight. It's a good highlight and a good brand. This is Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the shade Peach Goddess, my all time favourite. But sadly, look, can you guys even see? It's completely and utterly shattered. I don't want to tip it because it's going to go everywhere, but um, basically I'm going to highlight with this. Alright, so now I'm going to do my under eyes with my eyeshadow and I am taking the orange, the fetish and dominatrix, basically all three of the shades I used on my top lid. I am going to blend under my eyes and I am taking one of these small like blendy brushes. I am again taking my Collection No Clumps Mascara and I'm going to do my lower lashes. Oh. 
Okay, now I have my Shanexo eyeshadow and lipstick palette. I am taking this middle kind of like champagne-y, like shiny, whatever. I'm taking that, I'm taking that on this tiny brush and this is going to be packed into my inner corner. Okay, so now it's time for some eyelashes and I have these ones here from eBay and this is what they look like. They are quite dramatic and I am in love. These ones I have shown many and many a times on my channel and if you watch a video nine times out of ten, these will be the lashes I am wearing if I am wearing lashes and also I am applying it with the Duo Lash Adhesive. Do not use the fake one, only the real one. Get it off Beauty Bay or somewhere where you can because girl the fake one hurts like F so uh, yeah pre-warning but um yeah so I'm going to apply these with a pair of t -t 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 tweezers oh hey girl Well, now I have my lashes and I feel a little bit more myself and I use the, yet again, No Clumps Mascara to merge my fake eyelashes with my fake ones and I have no lips, so let's fix that problem. I am taking, I'm going to do two lip options because um, basically, um, when I did this look, I wore the more nude shade, but um, I thought I would give it a go with a darker lip because it's kind of neutral. I mean, once you kind of like mix the glitter together, you create like this kind of rose gold. You know, honey. So basically, this is designer blood from Jeffree Star's like collection last year at Christmas time, and this is gorgina. I've not said that in ages. Um, this is gorgina, and I'm going to whack it all over the mouth because right now I've got no lips, girl. Oh my god, I love this lipstick with this eye look. I am living for this fantasy. This is absolutely amazing. So this is designer blood with this eye makeup and girl, 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 this is phenomenal. I am like, do I leave this one on? Do I even show you the nude? Yeah, I'll show you the nude, all right, girl? So anyway, this is Designer Blood, and now I will move on to the nude shade. And for lipstick number two, I have Celebrity Skin, also by Jeffree Star. And this is the lipstick I wore with this look in my last two videos. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get this on the lips. Well, this lipstick never, ever, ever fails me. I love it so much. This is one of my go-to lipsticks. It is so wearable and so, like, flattering on everyone's skin tone. And with this eye look, oh my god, honeys, I am like... Yes. So that was all of the lip options. That was the makeup tutorial. Um, I need some earrings. I need some earrings, girl. Um, but um, yeah, that was the makeup tutorial. I really hope it was good and you can recreate this. If you do, please, please, please tag me on Twitter, Instagram, um, anything you can tag me on. My Instagram, Twitter is as does makeup. Um, that is the best way to contact me at the moment is Twitter and Instagram. Stop plugging yourself constantly. Um, so if you want to get in touch, that will be how. Um, I would love to see this look on your face. And remember, you don't need to have all of this to create this look. You can use your own palettes, your own shades and lipsticks. Everything you can use, obviously, of your own. But um, yeah, this is my festive, like, going out or Christmas Day glam look. And I'm feeling every single, like, part of myself. What? what whoa. 
that sounds wrong. You know what I mean? I'm feeling myself like Beyonce and Nicki Minaj. I have now added my earrings and I feel a million dollars. And I know that is vain, but um, I feel so good and so cute. I love my nails, guys. What do you think? They're this like kind of red, purpley kind of shade. So winter appropriate, so Christmas time appropriate. And um, I feel so freaking good. So I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the video and the look and um, I will see you all in my next video. Um, I should be doing some more Christmassy, you know, tutorials before Christmas itself. So keep them tuned and um, for now I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. I love you.